Hello and welcome to the ninth episode of Metroid Other M. Please don't go off on a tirade, Olive Branch. Don't worry, Miffle Leaf. I'm, it's all out of my system now. Uh, that's good to hear then. So last time, we entered the Ice World. We got the Speed Booster. We got the Shine Spark, quote unquote. And we are just going around exploring for no reason whatsoever. It's not so much exploring, we're just walking down hallways. That is all we have ever done in this game, walk down hallways. Like, could you really compare this game to a classic Metroid game where you actually explored? Not really, no. I, 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 every other Metroid game was linear, but at least it had multiple doors and stuff. This is only like, room one with one door, room two with one door, and so on and so forth. You would call Super Metroid linear? Uh, no, no, I'm not saying it's linear. I'm, that's why I'm saying this game is one, one door, you know, one room, one door. But every other Metroid game has at least like a couple of doors, rooms with a couple of doors out there, you know? I suppose, yeah. You enter one room and the possibilities are endless as long as we understand that the word endless means like a maximum of three. In this game, maximum one entrance. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes there are two. But, like, the second one usually goes into, like, a closet or something. So I am running the hell away from that thing. <laughs> it's like, I don't want any energy sucked out tonight, thank you. It worked hard for these four energy tanks. And it's like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be a party to your, uh, to your addiction, sir. Get your energy somewhere else. What do you, how do you know it's a sir? It could very well be a madam. I don't know, the way it grabbed Samus and kind of had that little eye-closing pleasure kind of hit me as a sir type of thing. So we got another missile tank and uh, 30 missiles. 30 missiles, we picked up 20 tanks so far. Are we gonna, are we ever gonna like spam missiles like, the hell out of some, some bosses or something like that? Uh, in this game, I kind of doubt it. <laughs> that dude is pissed, you didn't give him any energy. Nah, I was pretty mad. He's like, he's like a, he's like a, uh, a homeless man going, hey man, hey man, you got some change? No? No? God damn it, fuck you! <laughs> Hits you for it. See, so, F that. F that, run away. I'm running the hell away. Someone remarked earlier on the thread that, uh, sometimes, like, you'll be noticing those knee-high ledges that Samus just hops over. They're specifically there to dick over your speed booster. Wow, that's... What, what would they be there to speed boost in the first place? The hallways here are so... so uh, small. I don't know. I suppose you could shine spark your way through all of those zoomers. Sakamoto didn't want you doing that. Whoa! Oh, yeah, that, that was a dick move, then. Yeah, that got the drop on me. These things are actually fairly easy to fight, though. Because... You just kinda just sense move everything. Not really. Even better than that, if you hit them point blank with a charge shot, they immediately go into a prone position, and from there you can, yeah, do the fatal strike. Wow, that was trivial. Yeah, and you can kill them in two shots. <laughs> why, why, why weren't you doing that earlier? I was trying for the most part, I just never had the opportunity to explain it. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? Ah, uh, well, the moment's passed anyway. I was actually going to ask that Shine Spark, did you know you, were get, you had to jump, or because, or was it automatic? She was setting up automatically. Uh, I think I had, no, uh, I knew I had to know. <laughs> that, was a, that was just a pointless little vent. I guess there's a missile expansion somewhere down there, though. Well, it's not in this one. Last one. Probably something hidden in here, a rule of three and all that. Oh, yes. Another. Something we need four of to use. It's something. Every little bit counts. It would be actually cool if the energy parts gave you like 25 energy each or something. Just to give you a little something, you know? <laughs> oh, Samus. Let's run straight on through. Chugga 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 watch out here comes the Samus train um, I was gonna say uh, that the, 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 the running is like really really intense looking but there's so much graphical shit on the screen it's hard to tell when the ledge is approaching it's, 
I've always thought that it's difficult to tell if she even runs any faster. Probably not. She probably just like kind of chugs along with that huge blast shield in front of her. Annihilates everything in her path. I'm sure she actually does go faster. It's just throughout everything, it's really difficult to, uh, to actually tell, you know? Mm. Also, the, the, her vents are the, the missile, the turbo, right? Her vents in the back of her suit. But I That's never right. saw in another game those vents doing anything but being a jump assist. Oh, well. I tried another M. Oh, oh, son of a bitch. It's an ant. What's it? What are you, what's he doing here? I don't know. This is the cryosphere, for God's sake. This isn't exactly the marsh world. No, it's not. Oh, that, yeah, he's, he's pissed at you, man. I'm I, shooting it in its belly. I think this one, I think this one's a migrating pattern. Migration pattern got kind of screwed up. He's lost. He's just trying uh, to find his way home. How difficult would that be to get lost in a spaceship? I, su I suppose it is a pretty big one. I mean, it's so huge, it has its own... Biomes? Vol volcano. Its own volcano. What is this? Like a friggin' glacier? It's like a, it's like a cliffside here. I just flipped over once and then flipped over again. He's just dicking with you. Yeah, it's just screwing around now. Wow, this is... Painfully slow. Let's try another M. Heavy on the there action. It again. And it does it again. Riveting. There it goes. And it just falls over it backwards. It does. Yeah, it does the whole thing. I guess it's falling cause an avalanche. So. Yeah, isn't, isn't that convenient? It is convenient. Otherwise, Adam would have had to break out the space jump, and God knows he doesn't want to do that. That would be very unfortunate. Samus could, like, just that one more upgrade, just one more upgrade could send Samus completely flying off the edge. I'm looking at that because it's very pretty. What is that, anyway? And how does it fit inside this, this room? I want to say it's some artificial sun, but in reality it's probably just a really big light bulb. Yeah, I can't forget we're inside a ship here, but it... Sure as hell, it sure as hell looks like the uh, Team Ninja or whoever designed it, the uh, the uh, environments really doesn't want that to happen. Something has caught Samus' attention. Another dead man! Whoever this one is. Maurice. Yeah, him. Mystery solved. Adam. Another guy's down. Can you give me something? Hey Adam, I, I feel kind of in danger here. Pixel hunt. Pixel hunt for the blonde. Wasn't too difficult, at least. Hey, I see ya. Yeah, I see ya. Don't run away. <laughs> yeah, chase her down. Or not. I'm working on it. Give me a second. Look at it. And I, I love how Adam doesn't even comment on the fact that another guy's down. She even said his name, and we know that Adam is watching and listening. He must be in the bathroom. Maybe. It's like, hey, so, Samus, did I miss anything? He's getting himself a coffee. Oh, we're, we're in chase music mode now. No shine spark for some reason. Yeah, this room is just long enough for it, but no. So isn't this exciting? The music is sure trying to pump us up. Hmm. Oh, it's a maze. And now we're gonna chase her down like a tank. What? As a tank. Why? Because She's we're the right. Terminator. I know why you're here! Stop running, you're only making it worse. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. It's just it's like that's one of those things like the horror movies where no matter how fast the person runs. No, you don't understand. I'm here to rescue you. You're lying! I know the Galactic Federation wants to silence everyone who knows about our work here. Well that was a mouthful. Oh damn it. Is it that obvious? Alright, lady. Just just give up. Don't make me chase how you down. Can I trust you when your troops are willing to kill each other.
stay away from me. Listen to me. We're here to rescue you. Good job with the sense move. Oh, we're, we're into aliens mode. Again. Yeah, we're fighting... What is it? It's a, It looks like one of those loaders, a lifter, or whatever, a tractor. Like a forklift or something? Yeah, it's like one Some of the... Some kind of futuristic forklift? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It looks another... I think it's another homage to aliens, because uh, Ridley, in the second movie, used one of those forklift things. Oh, dear. Ugh. The controls in this game. You have to freeze it, and then you have to shoot it with a missile, and that thing is always moving. It's always shooting at you. It's like a, it's like a hungry, hungry hippo. Oh. Alright, now what's the purpose of these, then? If there's some kind of mover forklift thing? Well, it's an industrial size, you know? It's, sometimes you gotta chop down some uh, unruly boxes, you know? What? You would think you'd have a machine a bit more special, a bit more specialized for something like that. Then maybe it also acts as an anti uh, anti union tool. You know how the GF <laughs> hates unions. <laughs> right, it's tripping you up here. You don't actually want to shoot the ice pie. You want to shoot the thing that just came out of its head. <laughs> it even has the uh, the wheels scratching on rubber sound effect. Hot wheels. The entire time, I'm just sense moving this whole thing. Although if it does hit you, it hits hard. So who's our mystery man? I'm gonna call. I'm gonna say it's that guy with the little mustache. The mustache. Mustache. I don't know. Not KG, because KG wears glasses, and we all know that glasses are geeks, but not nothing else than that. Uh, you don't know. Like if you call him a geek, he could turn into a murderous rage. Like maybe he ran into Maurice, and he was giving him the rundown with Maurice, and Maurice just said, "You know what, KG? You're such a geek." And then KG just whipped out the pistol and shot him. Maybe. Maybe. But let's find out who's killing our own men. The threat is obviously neutralized. Oh, wait. You thought this boss fight was over? Hell no! Still has some kick left in it. Oh no, it blew up. Now it's done. Now it's done. The woman believed that the Galactic Federation was sent to the Bottleship to keep those in the know from leaking information about the project. And no wonder. She'd been attacked by someone wearing a Galactic Federation power suit, and she implied that Maurice was killed by another soldier. Considering the mortal danger we'd survived together, I had to agree with her. There was a traitor among us. Samus. The wavelength of that monster's cry is driving the other creatures into a frenzy. They've grown markedly more aggressive. It appears to be hiding in Sector 3 now. Take the elevator ahead of you to the main sector. From there, head to Sector 3. If you run into that thing, hit it with your plasma beam. You've got to take it down. Give me the plasma beam now. Yeah, seriously. What the hell? What? Adam? Adam's... What are your priorities here? Yeah, you're so schizophrenic. We just had a traitor... God damn it, Samus, People, say something! <laughs> Samus! Sam, do something! G what? No, Just don't say, you leave him behind! Adam, no, fuck you! Don't Just leave him I'm behind! <laughs> God damn it, and the woman got away too! Adam, where are you in the bathroom? With those creatures, crafted into killers, running free, the bottle ship had been turned into a nightmare replica of Zebus. 
And then here came Adam and the others. At this rate, the plan the Federation wanted to keep so secret would be revealed. So they sent in an assassin. Someone to wipe out any survivors as well as anyone who learned about the secret project. KG, James, Anthony, and Adam. Could one of them really be a traitor? Until I found out who it was, I decided to call the traitor the Deleter. On top of everything, I started to think about that woman. Was she the one who sent the distress signal? And could she be the person in charge here, Madeline Bergman? Either way, I knew I had to protect her. She would be targeted again. And she wasn't the only one in danger. I, too, would be considered a threat here. Anthony is a pretty alright guy. I don't I don't know if he has the heart to be a traitor. This is still so stupid. There was no point in in, in Samus letting that woman get away when when the whole I, I point, don't know, that was that was kind of a spur of the moment thing, like they were just jumped by some kind of tractor trailer. You know, you're right, you're right. Her getting away, but then she's like plain ignoring the uh, the assassin inside that that suit or whatever, and Adam's just going, "Hey, Samus, forget about that. Just go uh, go kill that lizard thing." I suppose she does run faster when it comes up. Oh yeah, I I kind of had to look at it. You know, if that was not one of the scenes, that would have been the scene, another one. Because everything, every time this game goes on, it just gets dumber and dumber. This game is insulting our intelligence. I don't know, man. Just, just going by memory and how, how extreme the other these scenes are. So it's clear we're not supposed to go this way yet. Let's go this way instead. Deeper and deeper into the rabbit hole of hell. Whoa! <laughs> what I was trying to do there is that with the speed boost, you can actually kill these dog things. In one go. Well, yeah, pretty much. The, fr the one in front, you will get on your way there, and the other two you can kill with the Shine Spark, but it's kind of difficult. Well, I mean, that was a pretty nice evade anyway. <laughs> you just completely said, okay, fuck this, let's back th backtrack to the beginning of the room. What, are th what were they doing here? They're freezing the entire room up. Shine spark it? Nah. No. Nah. I'm gonna do it this way instead. Let's do it again. Ah, oh, I did it completely wrong way. My bad. One more time. Third time's the charm. Are you, is there a power up up there? You're trying to get? Yeah, if you pay attention to the radar. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Oh. There oh, we go. Look at her go. Nice job. And it's still worse than most other Metro games because she would just keep going until she hit something. <laughs> but this it just stops you for whatever reason. There she goes. Rocket Samus. She hit an orange... An orange... Uh, what, what are they called? Whatever. An orange... Yeah. No idea what you're talking about. The thing from uh, Sonic Colors. Wisps. Oh, uh, wisps. She got an orange wisp. Rocketo. Now she's in the spike hole. Well, that wasn't too hard. <laughs> Down the choo choo go. And this is actually tripping you up here. You're supposed to get into this one, not jump down. 
Yeah, I figured. I mean, it's kind of calling attention. Oh. Is there going to be a boss that's just uh, Morph Ball? There was one in Metroid Prime 2, and it was fairly memorable. Well, I mean, it was memorable because it was tough. Hmm? It, it was in the middle of the dark block, wasn't it? And it constantly hurt you, so... No. No. no? It was in Sanctuary. Oh, you think it's Kodraxis? I'm thinking Kodraxis. That's right. Uh... Yeah, could uh, no. Quadraxis was the big boss of Sanctuary. Right, you said Sanctuary boss. Yeah, but Quadraxis wasn't fought entirely in Morph Ball mode. Yeah, you're right, just in the very end. I'm pretty sure there was one on the Dark Torvus Bog that gave you the Dark Suit. Not the Dark Suit, but something. And you had to... Uh, there's one in Torvus Bog about the Boost Ball. That's the one, that's the one uh, I'm thinking of. Alright, fine. Anyway, I'm, I'm kind of lost. Where... Well, right now we're sliding down a cliff, and Sam looks like she's just—she you know, looks like she's just kind of surfer boogieing down there. She she enjoys it. Can you get back up there with the shine spark? No, you're gonna have to do the whole rigor rigor roll again. Oh boy, the point of that was just to get a couple of missile expansions, really. It was to notice something. There was something there that we couldn't get. And it looks like we're trapped. More Zabesian slash space pirates. Whoa. Wait, we have the plasma beam, right? We do have the plasma beam, yes we do. Why why you stop the ice beam equipped? Um the plasma beam wouldn't do anything against glass, it's far too strong. Right, but you're in the ice world. What? How would what, what sense does that make? Samus. You need a permeating shot effect to get past this. I'm authorizing you to unlock your wave beam. Why didn't you do this earlier, Adam? Hey, Adam, you know what will come in handy earlier? About all those other times we came across glass that would have been nice to shoot through? You know about that tower thing when that lizard creature that nearly raped us? That whole scene? That was killing our guys. We could have jumped out of the window there if we had the wave beam. Adam is very bad on, in hindsight. He's just, he's just crappy about hindsight. He only, yeah, he only thinks about the exact present, what's happening right this second. What happened right this second is Samus just owned those spice, space pirates. So, when you equip the wave beam, did it actually, does it keep the ice beam with you? Uh, yes, it does. They stack. Wow, so I imagine plasma plus ice plus wave is just going to kill everything that moves. Oh uh, yeah, pretty much. But it's going to look like just the plasma beam. So yeah, I get it quite a bit better this time. There you go. Miss one, but one charge beam takes it out. Whoa, it's very colorful. All right, time to go wave beam our way forward. Yeah, do it all again. See that one thing that was behind the glass? We have to shoot it, and we can do that now. And the reason we couldn't do it earlier is because Adam apparently. Because Adam? No, just say just because Adam. Because Adam. Adam. What a dick. He is a dick. He's also really... He's just everything bad. He's like a, he's the kind of superior you never ever want to meet. I don't know. You I think don't he's know. Gonna, like, you'd think he's actually going out of his way. Like, we joke about this, but you'd think he's actually going out of his way just to make Samus' life harder. It would actually be, it would be a pretty good twist if he was the guy who's uh, killing everybody and... Uh, you know, he is the bad guy. If he was the bad guy, this would all make more sense. But he's not, is he? He's just incompetent as hell. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, this, <laughs> yes. Yes. Adam is the one that is incompetent, yes. Well, I mean, Samus is not, no, no, it's kind of stupid too, I mean, so much going on here. That... To be frank, Samus can't even see where she's going, it's a miracle she's going this far. <laughs> she's guessing, blindly stumbling forward with her little morph ball. All right, let's let's get this travesty over with. Let's do this for real. Elevator. All right. So all we have to do is get down there. Shouldn't be too hard. We have to take the long way there. God. Just slide down again, SSX style. Oh, it, it of course. Uh, more like ten, more like 1080 avalanche style. And a blizzard just to spice things up. Does it insta kill you if uh, you're caught uh, in it? Yes, it does. <laughs> What's going on? Respond! Respond! 
So, that's it. Everyone, game's over. I hope you enjoyed this LP. Great. Let's never talk about this again. Ever. Ever. Ah. Ended on a happy note, at least.